Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you guys had a good holiday season. Today, real quick, we're going to go over the DCA group button. How I like to use it and how to populate DCAs. So we've got a live show brought up here on the computer playing back through the console. I've got kick, snare, uh, second kick mic. One floor tom and two overheads, one guitar. I have two guitar lines, but we only have one guitar. Uh, we've got a saxophone, keyboards, four vocal mics, our playback tracks uh, that have, you know, backup guitar or whatever, hand claps and stuff on them. So right now, nothing is assigned to my DCAs. So let's just go ahead and work on that real quick. The first DCA, let's hold the select button and press utility and that'll bring up our you know labeling screen here so this first DCA I like to make my DCAs as my board so the first thing on my board is my drum set so my first DCA is going to be my drum set let's go ahead and make it the same color as the drum set I like to do mine in red let's label it uh, just drums Okay, so we've got the DCA labeled and color coded. Now all we have to do is populate it, right? So we can just hold the select button here. And after we've held for a second or two, we can start selecting channels that we want to go into our DCA. So now I've got all my drum channels on one fader, right? Let's, uh... Right. So you can see how advantageous this is, especially when you're doing a show that's, you know, using three or four banks, all 32 channels or something like that. And especially if you're mixing on an iPad, if you've got instruments, microphones on three banks and you've got, you know, effects that you want to use you know you could possibly have something coming in on your quarter inch auxiliary inputs you're just going to be jumping constantly jumping 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 back and forth back and forth where is it let's find it what are we doing right this way we can break our mix down into a much smaller set of faders and then we can go back into the dca and adjust right so if we pull up our drums uh, let's just solo these. Right. So maybe we our kick drum's too loud or we don't want both kick drum microphones. I can still right. So then let's move on to our guitars. We've got two channels we put on guitars. Our saxophone we'll put in one. Our keyboard we'll put in another. Our vocals we'll put in another. Our playback track we'll put in the sixth one. The seventh one, what I like to do with my playback track, and I have another video on it already, is I split my track out to another channel. So on the input of this channel uh, channel 20 it's actually reading channel 15 as its as its source right the reason I do that is so I can then take out all the high-end information and just have the base information from my playback tracks which is handy because I'll play this so our playback track has all this bass information and I like it to be on a separate fader so I can treat it as a bass guitar line, right? But keep all the high-end information in my tracks. And then the last DCA, I like to put my uh, effects on. So 
So, right, there's our effects, there's our bass, there's our track, vocals. Uh, let's get out of solo here. I'm about to tell a new one in this whole town. By morning, three, two, one, I'm a rockin' man. So real easy, right? Hope that video was helpful, guys. Uh, again, we'll just go over it. Press and hold the DCA select button that you want. Select the channels you want to go into that DCA and release. Move on to your next DCA. Select the two channels you want in there and release. And if you haven't figured it out yet, controlling the board, the entire band, with two hands, on one page is much better than having to jump and especially on the iPad app if you're having to go screen from screen you can spend a lot more time engaged in the show and looking for moments to pop out than chasing a bunch of little faders so anyhow if that was helpful guys hit the like button if you like the channel content make sure you hit subscribe Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.